We could launch in on a separate launcher and hope that lathe atmosphere isn't so brutal. I mean, especially since we're going to get into orbit first. So we could have a... Uh, we could launch it shuttle-like, vertically. And then send it over there. Well, it's definitely not... Th we didn't... the struts didn't help. <laughs> that had nothing to do with it. We could make the wings shorter. And then maybe they'll be less susceptible to heating. I don't know if that's true or not. Well, I still want to try this out. Um, let's tighten it up back to the smaller version and we will launch it. And we'll put parachutes in the cockpit. <laughs> and we'll put parachutes on the whole thing. And though maybe we should just let it plunge, plunge into the ocean. That seems to work out pretty well. Landing gear still worries me and could rip apart the wings. Okay, so... Center of mass is there. Empty... the dry mass is 28 tons. I'll put 12 parachutes. It's probably not enough. <laughs> but, uh... Who knows? Okay. And then we're gonna slap it on the side of a rocket. Let me go out of the VAB and come back in to make sure that it really is gonna be vertical. Now we haven't used the Rhino. It's not enough thrust weight ratio. But we could have boosters, so... We've got too much Delta V. We're gonna fire the Swerve Engine as well. And we're gonna cross-feed the Hydrogen into it. But I'll have to use the resource manager in order to make sure, because we can't set fuel priority, right? No, no, we can't. So I'll have to use the resource manager to manage that. Well, if there's any place to send a Saturn V in stock Kerbal, it's for landing on Tylo. If there's any reason to use a shuttle in stock Kerbal, it's for lathe. That's what I have to say. This. Might be the first thing we've absolutely needed launch clouds for, for though. Wish I could at least lock these fuel tanks. Okay, well, that's a Leif Shuttle Vertical Edition. Maybe I should put Sepatrons on the external tank as well. Okay, so who's our future rescuee going to be? Lenny! Lenny! <laughs> oh, come on, go away, Tim. Lenny is going to be our future rescuee. All right. So. Let's try this out. I mean, at least the wings aren't immediately falling off. Lenny's got cool glasses. We're going out that way. We're going to have to do a roll. That's going to be fun. All right. Here goes nothing. Uh... Okay, those are too powerful. Those are too powerful. Uh... That's too powerful still. No, <laughs> Lenny. We killed Lenny. Oh well. We, um... Mistakes were made. Well, see, the center of thrust isn't even helping me at all. Yeah, it still doesn't help me. Center of thrust is useless. Um... These were very powerful. <laughs> I know this. We need all the engines, that's the problem. Um, we, what we don't have is the, you know, vectors on this side. We don't have the shuttle main engines or anything like that. But right on liftoff, the center of thrust, the uh, center of mass is very close. If we could just shift these, maybe. Now, now it's showing the center of thrust in a more sensible location. 
Uh, I will also attempt to tilt this just a little bit. Okay, well, let me get the Sepatrons back on and we'll see. I really jinx it by calling Lenny a rescuee. Just, just said victim. <laughs> then Lenny would have been alright. Saying rescuee implied that Lenny was not going to perish. Which is a big mistake. Hubris. It was hubris. It's still probably a death trap, but... Um, <laughs> and now on Leif, it's a whole other story with the wings deciding to get overheated, so... Uh, it's gonna be a long story of pain and suffering with this. Who's next? Pudlin. Tim's just asking for it all the time. Okay, here we go with Hudlin. I should have deployed the parachutes or something, but it was probably too late anyway. Okay. Well, that's better. Trying to roll is not great. Oh, that's rolling the way to, wrong way. That's rolling the wrong way. Uh, 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 just go straight up. Just go straight up if you can. Oh, our apoapsis is already high. Uh, booster set. Wow, those didn't kill anything. Oh... Resource manager preparation. We need that tank out and into the other two. Whoa! But not right now. I forgot to dump the mod propellant as usual. Oh, we, we have to dump the external tank soon. Well, hmm. Can we deactivate that and still maintain control? Ooh, no, it doesn't seem like it. <laughs> Let's get rid of all that. Okay. Okay, we do want to deorbit this bit. So, yep. Off that goes. And now the space plane is on its own again. It's got less hydrogen than I would like it to have had. I think we'll have to wait until that's away from us by quite a lot before it reads the Delta V, right? Because we we're only we've only got 16 tons of capacity here, not 24. No, now it says 16 tons, but it still says only 4,928, uh, 82, sorry. Okay, well, we'll go over there and see what happens. Will Hudlin Kerman be a lucky Kerbal? Alright, go. Yep, let's take it cautiously there. Okay. Mid course correction. So, Lathe. We gonna do this the easy way or the hard way? <laughs> oh, there's a pass there. But it's past dual periapsis, and we've been through that. We don't want to do that. That'll be close enough. Okay. So. Alright, on we go. Ears are out. Departing Kerbin. Okay. And that should be good enough. A little bit closer. Okay, I'll take that, and Leaf is still our target, and we're going into the dual system. Well, just Leaf. Okay. 
Okay, we've probably captured. Yep. But that's a lot of inclination that's got there. Hmm, how do we get that much? I don't know. Uh, let's keep it loose then. Oh, there's a leaf pass. The result of that is crashing into Jewel, though. <laughs> um, probably not the best thing to do. Overall, that's getting us into a nicer inclination with respect to it. And we're not crashing into Jewel. Okay, so I think we'll do this path at, uh, pass at Lathe, which is safe and helps our inclination for 169 here. Struggling to make sure that we conserve enough for a return home potentially, but that's a long shot. Interesting, that might mean that the other antennae are actually relaying us. Because this doesn't have an antenna even close to reaching Kerbin. So why it would just go out of in, uh, communication range. The only explanation would be if something else was relaying us. I guess the first requirement is that we're not actually crashing into Lathe. That's a good start. So we'll take this. And then pass by Lathe and then plan. Okay, passing by Lathe. Phew! And passing safely by Jewel. But maybe we can do something with that. Nah. Better off just having Leif do the rest for us. Well, that doesn't seem to be helping us at all. Or at least it's messing up our inclination when we do that. That's costing too much though. Okay, well, we'll do both. Uh, but again, that's gonna cost us in terms of our ability to get back home. Getting Leif to help would be nice. Well, let's try this Leif encounter first. And maybe correct the inclination before we get there. At least this avoids the Tylo encounter. But I don't want it tilting our orbit like that. So we're going to correct the inclination as well. But hopefully it won't cost as much as some other options. Where is the location that we're supposed to get to? I don't even know. I mean, we've got a mission. We have to find a creature. Oh, it's in the South Pole. Oh, I did not expect that. We actually want to be inclined and get to a low location. And then if we dip into the atmosphere, we could die. Um, maybe it's time to air break. But maybe it will be detrimental to our health. Let me save. We are testing the thermal system. That's my excuse. We do not understand how this thermal system works. We have grave suspicions that doesn't work properly. Let's, let's save and figure this out. Especially with regard to these wings. Okay, well, 24 kilometers is probably pretty hot. Now, how much... Oh, I can't make a maneuver to find out how much it's going to take to capture with the rocket engine. Okay, well... We saved. Let us proceed and see what happens. Okay, so... Now that we're here... Can I plot a maneuver to see how much delta V it is? That's a lot. 
1,000. I don't want to spend that. So, hmm. We're going pretty fast, too. The wings will surely blow up. Or maybe blow up. We're not sure sure, right? Could be really cold out here because it's Jewel. Gotta save again. We'll take this... Well, we're gonna pass through a few times. We're gonna see if there's any safe periapsis. We're glowing green because of Jewel. And we are gonna see... If there's any way we can arrow capture around Lathe without it being dangerous. This truly is science. Experimentation. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. 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 Ooh. Yeah, okay, let's load that save. <laughs> Lathe is worse than Kerbin. Do you suppose if we just go like 45, go tail first at 45 kilometers, get a little bit of help from the atmosphere? And just use our engine to retro burn the rest, maybe? We have to get here. And it's a surface sample. Once we get into orbit, we can do other air breaking passes, assuming slight entries into the atmosphere don't kill us. Will our nuclear plasma shield us somehow? Okay, here goes nothing. Please don't turn around. Please don't turn around. Oh, things... No. Well, that didn't go well either, except we technically did capture into orbit. Oh, but it blew up. When it when I turned over here, it blew up. Leaf's atmosphere is suspiciously strong. Did they like up how thick it is? It starts at fifty kilometers. We tried forty-five just then. Though once we started tilting out of control, uh, that brought our periapsis down. I'm freaking gonna try 48 kilometers. Two kilometers into the atmosphere. No, that periapsis I don't want going down. Ow. Ow. Oh, forget it. <laughs> that time we didn't even make orbit. It didn't even capture us. Okay, fine. Be that way. We'll use the engine. And we're probably gonna need a rescue. Uh-oh. It's taking a long time to load. It's had too many explosions today. Tired. Okay, I think I'm gonna just close it and restart. Well, that all save seems to have nothing to do with anything. Year one, one day, zero hours, zero minutes. It re reverted to the beginning of time. Huh. That's suspicious. All right. Yes, we're not touching Leif's atmosphere. <laughs> but that means that we won't. 
be able to come back home with our Delta V and might even mean that we can't get back to Leif Orbit with Delta V that we've got. I'm not sure. We will have to touch Leif's atmosphere after we capture though, so that's another thing. At some point we have to go inside Leif's atmosphere. It looks so serene. And yet, like so many of the worlds in Kerbal Space Program 2, suddenly deadly. Okay, your wiggling is not good. Okay, I'm actually worried that it's gonna wiggle us into the atmosphere, so I'm gonna wait until we're past the atmosphere. Or past periapsis, of course. Okay, well, that's a capture. So now we got question number two, which is, can we air break now? <laughs> All right, we're going to go to Apoapsis, save, and then pull that periapsis down just the tiniest, tiniest bit into Leif's atmosphere. It doesn't matter how many passes we have to do, as long as we don't have to use our engine to air, uh, get down to a low orbit. I mean, it'd be nice if we could hit that right away, but uh, we wouldn't be able to. We'd be too high up there anyway. Okay, yeah, so many saves. Okay, hold on. We're going back in again. We are made, we're like a thousand two hundred meters per second slower. We actually have some data. Well, let's transmit that. Probably should have been able to get lower, but yeah, yeah, there we go. Should I try to tilt up and use the drag of the wings, or should we just go nose first? It'll probably force us nose first anyway. Okay, here we go. We're in the atmosphere. It is having an effect on our orbit, apoapsis. Oh, there's overheating. Uh oh. Oh no! This is very unfortunate. Okay. We we barely lost one wing, but but it's pretty critical on I think that tank. Does that cool that cools off? 49 kilometers? I mean, did that do a whole lot for our orbit? I... I guess... Well, let's load. So, that brought us down to 2260. From 2772. Well, we had a retro burned. I don't know how we ended up at 45 kilometers. Considering I thought we were supposed to retro burn. We were outside of the atmosphere. When we saved, I thought. I'm adamant that I'm... Uh, I wish I had RCS, but that we're going to get Leif's help on this. Okay, let's try that. Trying to look beautiful after all the pain you put us through. Okay, we're going up. Uh-oh. Uh, go up faster. Go up faster. Oh, we still lost it. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> it's just that wing. What is up with that wing? Why can't it be more like this wing? Okay. Uh, we're gonna load the save, but I, I'm 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 done for today. I've had enough. I've had enough of this. I have I have some results, some scientific results. With that, I'll say 
Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.